Hi, welcome to my farmhouse. I'm Leanne, and if you're new to my channel, I do cooking and baking from scratch, canning, and dehydrating videos. If that sort of thing interests you, feel free to subscribe to the channel. And if you find value in this video, please hit the thumbs up. It really helps my channel to grow, and I sure do appreciate it. Today, well requested, we're gonna do my hamburger buns. Now these are light and fluffy. The trick is, well, I guess you'll have to stay <laughs> further in the video to find out my trick to make them fluffy. Let's get started, shall we? To make my everyday sandwich buns, you will need one and one half cup warm water, a cup of milk, six cups of bread flour, two tablespoons of sugar, a tablespoon of salt, four and a half teaspoons of yeast, and six tablespoons of butter. To get started, we're gonna add our water and our milk into a saucepan to warm up to about 100 to 110 degrees Fahrenheit. And make sure it doesn't get any warmer than that. To add the dough extender to your Bosch, you want to put that on first and just click it into place. Now we're going to add our milk and water and just double check to see it's the right temperature. All right, we're in that range. Then we'll add our yeast. We'll add sugar, then we'll add our six cups of flour. And you want to make sure you're spooning it in, then leveling it off. You don't want to pack it into the cup. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, in this stage, we're going to add our salt. You want to add your salt last to the yeast because it will fight with it and might kill it. Then we're going to add our sealed and post it a few times. Now before it gets all incorporated together, we're going to fold in our butter. I cut it up into chunks just so it'll be easier to fold in. And we'll put our shield back on. Now most days I don't add extra flour, but it just was so wet that I had to add maybe a quarter cup more to get it to the tackiness that I wanted. Then when the dough is at the right texture, and pulling away clean from the sides of the bowl, you want to start kneading it for six to eight minutes in a Bosch and then a KitchenAid five to seven minutes. My Bosch is an earlier model, so it doesn't have the suction cups like they do come with today. And so I have to hold mine to make sure it doesn't slide off the counter. And never over knead it by hand. You can by machine. You can see how easy it is for me to knead. That's what you want to build, to build the gluten strands. We're going to shape into a ball and pinch out the air bubble. My bowl is stone cold because it's like 30 degrees here. Nope, not even 30. Maybe I should warm it up. We're gonna grease our bowl. And then plop it in there. Now we're gonna wait till it doubles in size. Put it to bed. All right, and I'm gonna put it in my oven because it's 30 degrees here right now. You want to just make sure you get all the air out that was caused from the rise. This dough also is good for sandwich bread and I decided to weigh out a pound and a half just to make a loaf of bread. This recipe makes 16 hamburger buns. I don't know how I did it, but I did it in one cut. Is that amazing? 
First off, you want to grease your pan. I highly recommend using glass. You'll get a fluffier roll. To get a uniform shape in all your rolls, you want to actually weigh them. I find a good weight for hamburger buns is 3.75 ounces. You don't have to be exact on every bun, but you should get close to it to make them look uniform, if, especially if you're trying to sell them. To form your buns, you want to just pull down on the sides until you can shape them into a ball. Then you're going to take with your thumb to your index finger, just rolling them around on the counter like you would a dinner roll. Then we're gonna smash it. You're gonna tell the dough where is it going, basically. Then we're gonna let it rise another 30 minutes. You don't need an expensive scale. Mine weighs ounces and grams and pounds and ounces. So again, we're going to shape into a ball and just shape it by rolling it around. Our <laughs> Bouncing it off our pinky and our thumb and going in a circle motion at the same time and smash it. Give you a different angle to show you. And after a while, you might actually get good at guessing how much is each one if you do it long enough. Tuck it in. Then we're going to roll. Then we're going to smash it. And these are ready to let rise for 30 minutes. You're gonna bake at 375 for 20 to 25 minutes, depending on your oven. But my mom would never let me walk away from an oven. Just keep an eye on them. Thank you so very much for watching and if you've watched this far I'm sure you love this channel so here is what to watch next take care God bless and see you in the next one